and Art Matters this week, a group of artists inhabit a house in the capital for a few weeks. The site is interpreted and experienced differently by each of the artists to create a unique exhibition. Shutupa Dev reports. C30, once a home, recently opened up to a group of artists to work in. What does it mean to inhabit a house? What does it mean to find different ways to relate to spaces? The C13 Arts Project invites artists to reimagine context. The house is in Pomposh, a refugee colony of Kashmiris in the capital. Artist Priyanka Chaudhary's project, Pahajkar, took her to her neighbours who had all left a house in Kashmir and re-established homes here. So I wanted to understand through them what is this process of leaving, what does it mean to leave a house behind. She asked them to draw their home as they remember it today. When they were drawing, I realised that they were talking. They are narrating their life of that moment. This is where my mother used to sit and cook. You know, those little details and, and the texture of those conversations, I wish I could just weave them all together and, you know. Visual artist Babu Ishwar Prasad had his own response to the space. When I came to see the space, I started exploring and I did a series of photographs. And some of them are different windows. So then I thought that let me take the windows and make a kind of a film strip. So I connected this windows and the film strip and the TV monitor. So, and the one monitor is playing and the other two is reflecting those frames. Priya Ravish Mehra showcased her 14-year research on Rafugas, who are traditional dancers from Najibabad in UP. Through their invisible art, they've given life to Kashmir's old Pashmina textiles and have kept it in circulation. A Rafuga's work is a metaphor for many things. Bending of like communities, society, well-being groups, generations, past memories. All these different things together actually make the fabric of life or a life of a fabric for each of us very important in stage and stage in our lives where we recognize the wear and tear which exists in a society and in ourselves and how to mend and repair it and we all are like refugas also at the exhibition are some of the 10,000 cartoons made by Inda Bhan Madan, a post and telegraph department official. Over a span of 50 odd years, he drew at home every day, feeding into the narrative of the world outside. He died 10 years ago and had never exhibited his work. My mother and I tried to uh, save these cartoons by putting them in airtight boxes and all. And then I realized that what he was doing in the 60s and 70s was, uh, you know, you can see a continuity of small events happening and now where they have got. My only uh, wish is to share them with people. His interpretations of the world are relevant even today. This house is a character, it's also participating in this exhibition. Perhaps that is what contemporary art is about also. It's letting go of the idea that it is a isolated or a hermetic kind of response of an artist. With camera person Munoj Thakur, Shruta Patel for Indie TV.